Okay, according to the Steam hardware survey, 43% of you guys are still using 16 gigabytes of system memory. I think this mostly revolves on users who are still on DDR4 because chances are you're still on 16 gigabytes or thinking of going for 32 gigabytes. For you guys who are on DDR5 platforms, just go get a 32 gigabyte kit and you're good. However, this question is more crucial on DDR4 users because DDR4, fortunately, is very cheap nowadays. I mean, this kit right here that we got from AliExpress, the Kusu, C-U-S-U, C-U-S-U, Kusu, whatever its name, bro. It's pretty cheap. About 40 bucks in AliExpress for a 32 gigabyte kit, 3600 megahertz speed. That's cheap. And if you put in the codes right here, it gets even cheaper. So is it time for you to upgrade to higher capacity memory? We're going to test 16 gigabyte compared to 32 gigabyte kit and even a 64 gigabyte, well, basically two sets of these ones in our video and we'll not be only doing gameplays because anyone can do gameplays let's put in a real world application in there as well and let's do some streaming this while we're recording and on top of that why don't we also look at tuning this thing for our testing we're going to use our am4 setup in here we've got the 5700x and to ensure that we're not utilizing extra memory we're using our rx 9060 xt 16 gigabyte let's sit back let's start with the first game Cyberpunk 2077 1080p Ultra settings. In here, boys, this game only requires about 12 gigabyte recommended memory for 1080p. So we've got 1080p Ultra in here. We're at 10 gigabytes with the 16 gigabyte kit and about 11 on the 32 gigabyte. There's a little bit of difference there in terms of performance. Uh, a little bit, a little bit, but we're pretty good in here. Okay, our next game is Oblivion Remastered and this one boys is a stutter fist and it stutters quite a lot on our 16 gigabyte kit. Right, so we've got the HyperX Fury in here and it's just stuttering. Look at those lows. It's pretty bad. Yes, I know we're stuttering a lot in this game but that's pretty bad with our 16 gigabyte kit and you can see that with the usage in there. 15.6 gigabyte system memory being utilized. So over at the 32 gigabyte kit, it's way over 16 gigabytes. So that's pretty crucial in a game like this. Let's move on to another game, Helldivers 2. And on our boat kits, we're only utilizing about 12 gigabyte of um, system memory in here. This is 1080p, medium settings, no upscaling or anything like that. There is a little bit of difference there, but they're mostly, well, more or less the same, really. And obviously with this one, boys, any system memory testings, we're just looking at the lows. It would definitely impact the lows. Now, I know the speeds here are quite different. We got 3200 megahertz and 3600 megahertz. However, I don't have any other 16 gigabyte kit. This is the only kit that I have. So we'll go with this one. Warzone is pretty critical with system memory and CPU and GPU and all that stuff and you can see how it's affecting our 16 gigabyte kit in here the 32 gigabyte Kusu kit is just uh, a little bit better in terms of um, this running or on our firing benchmark and Marvel Rivals look at that one boys on our 16 gigabyte kit we're utilizing a lot of our system memory and you can see why our 32 gigabyte Kusu kit is actually running a little bit better compared to the 16 gigabyte kit it will be very interesting once we test this out multitasking later on so see how that one performs because we're using a lot of system memory already here and now in PUBG eh, a little bit of difference there right not so much is probably like margin of error it's not that if affected let's see how it goes on the heavy action benchmark see on our mortar scene and boom here we go boys this is where things matter right the heavy action scene now you've got a little bit of difference there 188 on the lows against 200 plus on the 32 gigabyte kit is the ram speeds may matter a little bit in here as well but hey this is where you would see the difference and another game that i want to showcase in here is valorant because it's a cpu heavy game so with cpu heavy games you actually need better uh, system memory as well and in here there's a little bit of difference there right on the average fps and even on the lows you can see that that there's a clear difference between these two 
sirap. All right, time for some real world testing. I'm not gonna do any productivity test in here. The real world testing that we're gonna do as all gamers will probably have browsers open. Let's try out 20 tab of Google Chrome because you know, Google Chrome loves system memory. Let's do that. 20 tabs, Google Chrome, and we're gonna run games. Let's see how this one turns out. And here we go on our 16 gigabyte Fury kit. Look at that one, boys. We've got the 20 Google Chrome tabs running in this one. And on the right side, that's just the normal one. You can see it clearly is affecting the performance there. Look at that one, boys. 15 gigabytes of system memory on one side and only utilizing 10 gigabytes on the other side. On our box settings, nothing running on the background. Okay, how about if we compare this one against the 32 gigabyte kit, both running 20 tabs of Google Chrome. Let's do that. Here we go. Look at that one. Look at that one, boys. Look at that one. Bam. The performance is pretty much similar. Yeah, it's actually quite similar. Well, a little bit a little bit of difference there yes we are utilizing about 16 gigabytes of system memory on our 32 gigabyte kit however there's a slight difference there really slight right really slight smidging towards the 32 gigabyte kit okay next game marvel rival and here you go boys 20 tabs of google chrome is really affecting the lows of our 16 gigabyte kit look at that one 15.8 gigabytes of system memory being utilized on one end and on the other hand this is just our stock settings no background task running really huge difference boys stuttering on one end better on the other end so if you're still on a 16 gigabyte kit just close those google chrome tabs or switch to another browser right don't use chrome and here we have our 16 gigabyte kit running 20 tabs of google chrome against 32 gigabyte kit running 20 tabs of google chrome night and day difference right night and day difference okay next up Valorant because it's like I said very CPU intensive here we go 20 tabs of Google Chrome uh, well, it's not really that affected right I mean it's 11 gigabytes of system memory and only utilizing 9 gigabytes of system memory on the other end oh actually I am wrong it is actually getting lower uh, lows in here compared to our um, setting without Google Chrome tab. And here we have comparing the 16 gigabyte kit against the Kusu 32 gigabyte kit, both running 20 tabs of Google Chrome in the background. And look at that, right? Night and day difference, boys. Night and day difference. And before we proceed with our streaming and recording this, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, boys, if you want more videos like this. Okay, streaming this now. Okay, for this this we are in a live streaming environment and we're also recording and we've got 20 google tabs open bro oh. wait why are you doing it bro this uh, is my show get out of here i'm man. doing this video I'm live streaming it. get out yeah cool get oh. out okay 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 let's start with it here we have on the left side are our streaming environment right so we've got 16 gigabyte kit we're streaming and recording and we've got 20 tabs of google chrome open against our on the right side we've got the stock configuration nothing running on the background and look at that one boys it's clearly impacting the performance of our 16 gigabyte kit how about if we compare this to 32 gigabytes and when we're running 32 gigabytes doing exactly the same thing we've got 20 tabs of google chrome open we've got recording and we're streaming at the same time look at the usage boys we've got 15.8 gigabytes on one side and on our 32 gigabyte kusu kit we have 23 gigabytes of system memory being utilized and the performance is actually night and day right you got 80 fps on the one percent lows on one in and our 32 gigabyte kusu kit we've got 100 fps on our one percent low so that's pretty clear so if you're doing workloads like this definitely recommended to go for a higher capacity system memory like this one 32 gigabyte how about if we put in our 64 gigabyte kit two lots of these kusu kits very important thing to note once we, you got like four sticks in there in your um, motherboard sometimes it may not work right so it's a bit tricky you may need to lower the space but in our case we were able to enable xmp and we were running at full space 3600 mega transfers a second or we're running at full space with our four sticks let's have a look at how it performs cyberpunk 2077 and mostly the same right very similar performance not much of an impact here yeah we're using about 11.5 gigabytes of system memory on both when we go to oblivion it's still a stutter face <laughs> 
Yeah, it's the last interface, right? Um, you're using similar uh, system memory in here, about 16.3 gigabytes on the 32 gigabyte kit and about 17 gigabytes on the 64 gigabyte kit. The performance is more or less the same. They're very close. You're getting still those stutters on the open world, not as much when you're in the dungeons, but we just did this in our open world piece. And how levers too, not much as well, right? It's a very similar um, experience. Yes, you do get that 0.1 percent low difference in there but it will like eventually just catch up in the later part of this benchmark pretty much the same how about warzone now warzone as i've said is very critical on the cpu the gpu and your system memory and you can see in here boys that we're actually getting slightly better performance here with our 32 gigabyte kit maybe it's because we're on that uh, 64 gigabyte configuration running those four sticks in there maybe a bit hard for a motherboard i don't know not an expert but you can see the results in there right it's slightly uh, leaning towards the 32 gigabyte kit which is just standard two sticks of 16 gigabytes pretty sweet and marvel rivals uh, results is actually leaning towards the 64 gigabyte configuration and this initial stage yeah especially on the 0.1 percent low so they're very close but yeah there's that small difference there right 18.3 gigabytes on the 32 gigabyte kit and we're utilizing 18.9 gigabytes on the 64 gigabyte kit it's probably just margin of error too and pubg now in the running benchmark they're more or less the same pretty similar not so much of a difference there let's see how how it runs on our um, heavy action benchmark which is the mortar scene and boom look at that one boys we're actually getting better results on our 32 gigabyte kit and this could be another case of that one too you were in you've got like only two sticks it's actually running better compared to four sticks of system memory not much in terms of the average fps but you can see the lows are clearly affected here and i think this is the same thing when we go to valorant look at that one boys average fps is actually better on our 32 gigabyte kit compared to our uh, 64 gigabyte configuration so obviously if you want to go with like just pure performance you don't need extra capacity for your memory just go with the 32 gigabyte kit if you're more into productivity and all that stuff yeah that 64 gigabyte configuration is available to you as long as your motherboard and all this stuff can support it it's a bit tricky it's not always guaranteed that it will run on those four stack okay i'm just going to speed run all these um configuration in here 16 gigabyte 32 gigabyte and 64 gigabyte just as a recap for everything while we're um, I'm looking at it as i've said cyberpunk is probably an outlier for the um our 16 gigabyte kit and saying that we're only using about 10 gigabytes of system memory anyway oblivion same thing like i said i'm still stuttering in here of really affecting the 16 gigabyte kit because its requirement is about 16 gigabyte minimum for this game and once again we'll just run speed run through these games here and yeah war zones clearly like we've got like a difference there in terms of war zone and my rivals basically this is just a clear recap of everything For you guys who like to tinker around with your system memory, like to tune, so I'm not, I'm, you know, I'm not an expert in any of this. I just quickly tune our Husu RAM kit. Here's a screenshot of the Typhon burner. So I think it's a Hynix um, chip. Here's the screenshot of the BIOS for the SPD information. So what I did in this one is I just wake the primary timings. I didn't go into like all those details, man. I don't have time for. <laughs> I just, I just want to play games, man. Here we go. I just wake the primary um, primary time is in here from 18, 22, 22, 42. We change it to 16, 20, 20, 38. And then we change the voltage as well to 1.4. I'll put all of that on the background. Oh, I did that. So, like I said, I'm not an expert. I don't have time to actually um, run a configuration, test it for a few hours to ensure that it's stable. However, if we did it here, simple. You are free to um, explore that. but. Here we have the difference in terms of performance between the two. So if you want to tinker, if you're not comfortable in doing all that, that's cool, bro. Just enable XMP, you'll be fine. But if you do, you can um, you can do all of that as well. 
it's a bit tricky especially if you're um, you know if you're not used to doing things like this and can be a bit time consuming however in our test here with Marvel variables you can see that we are gaining in terms of our lows it's actually a um, beta there are no blue screens on this configuration overall looking through those different configurations you can see that there are actually a night and day difference on terms of different configurations 16 gigabyte is okay but it may be reaching your limit you may be better to actually just go with the 32 gigabyte kusu kit if you have the extra funds or if you're still on the fence of actually jumping to 32 gigabyte i think this is a good time to actually do it now while it's still cheap if you want like more capacity you can always go with 64 gigabyte and let's four people who like to do some productivity tasks on the background if you do decide to upgrade just make sure that you dispose of your other um, of your previous kits so sell that on the market don't put your new kit alongside those old kits because you'll run into like issues put it on a used marketplace put the new kits in enable xmp you're good but let me know what you think boys should you upgrade to the higher capacity or are you happy to just carry on with 16 gigabyte and wait until you jump to a new platform like ddr5